Hey guys, what's up? So today I will be styling my natural hair with Primark products. So stay tuned and we will see how this goes. All I'll be using for this tutorial is a spray bottle, a microfiber towel, hairbands, a denim brush, some clips maybe, but most importantly, Primark's curl defining cream and shampoo for curly hair. Let's do it. Once you've come to terms with just how poorly you've been treating your hair for the past two weeks, go ahead and give it a good wash. So I won't even front, it was a bit of a struggle trying to get the shampoo to lather. But after a while, I took off my earrings, gathered some courage and I tried again. So once I'm done washing my hair, I get rid of any excess water with a microfiber towel and then I move on to the next step. <coughs> so what I'm doing now is I'm using the Primark Curling Cream to number one, detangle my hair, number two, moisturize it, and number three, define my curls. So we have a bit of a three-in-one situation going on here. And yeah, pray for me. Hopefully it works out just fine. Okay, this probably goes about saying, but before you wash, manipulate, defibrillate your hair. It's a little. Like, honestly, <laughs> do not go into the shower and wash your hair without having at least finger detangled it with some kind of a detangling product. Of course, I, like a brave little soul, wanted to use just two products, the shampoo and the curling cream, to do a job that wouldn't necessarily be fit for it. But hey, I, I suffered the consequences, right? Be careful, friends. Okay, let's talk finances. So the shampoo cost me two pounds, as did the cutting cream. And that's honestly so amazing and so cheap because I usually spend around 10 pounds on each of my products. I actually um, finished the curling cream in this one sitting, so I was pretty happy it was just two pounds. So once again, I am detangling, moisturizing, followed by defining my curls. This isn't really a tutorial now that I look back. And do forgive me, this is my first proper YouTube video, like doing a voiceover. Uh, so as I'm watching this, I'm thinking, you're not really teaching anyone anything. So I am more than happy to do a actual updated wash and go tutorial for you guys. If you're down for that, then let me know, write it in the comments. But for now, I will just go ahead with this challenge of mine that I set for myself using just Primark products for my hair with just one product after shampooing. If the results don't turn out fine, hey, you know, that's just a challenge, right? I'm not trying to teach you the wrong things here, so enjoy the rest of the video. I will pop in every now and then. I don't like talking. Ah! So the next step now is to diffuse my hair and I'm using my Remington Shine Therapy Dryer. I got it from Amazon. I think it was around 18 pounds, but yeah, I'm not sure. I'll let you guys know. It's taken quite long for the product to dry and to like dissolve into my hair, but I'm just gonna keep trying. And it was at this point I realized the hairstyle had flopped. And so I took the last remnants of the curling cream, smoothed it over my hair, and I tied it into a high puff. I know I'm not the only one who uses a high puff when all else fails with their hairstyle, so if you're also one of those people, shout out to you, let me know. Let's start a crew or something. Based on my own personal experiences with my hair, I feel like there is definitely a positive correlation between the price you pay and the results you get, because my hair felt so brittle after this. 
they felt so dry and I know I did this to myself like yeah okay you went to Primark and you bought hair products whatever but that it was dry if I am gonna ever use a Primark again in terms of my hair I feel like I'll just get the shampoo um because it is really good at clarifying but I wouldn't use the curling cream again I just combine like the shampoo with um one of my usual conditioners, if that makes sense, so I can save money on one side of things. Next, I'm going in with a retired eyebrow brush to lay my edges. I'm using, once again, the Primark Curl Cream. And in case you're wondering where my edges went on that side of my head, it's a very sad story, but while I was in Sierra Leone, I let a stranger do my hair for me. I wanted Vellani braids so I could represent the culture and they did my hair way too tight and I knew right then and there I was losing my edges but I just wanted to finish the hairstyle and I let them do their thing and my edges on that side of my hair are still fighting, like actually fighting to come back to this day, like they'll find a way back, I'm sure and just like that, this tutorial slash challenge slash whatever the hell it is is done thank you so much for watching make sure you subscribe to my channel and i promise i will upload i've wanted to make a youtube channel for a minute now like i've been saying i'm gonna do this for years and i'm finally getting started on it so i'm glad you guys could join me on this video make sure you watch the rest and i'm also gonna make photography content because i'm also a photographer if you didn't know that's my main gig yeah i'm talking too much now but thank you so much goodbye